come out wherever you are. Oh, hi. I'm just trying to get the last little bit of toothpaste out of the tube. I want to polish my dazzling smile. But I can't because somebody used the toothpaste. And it wasn't me. It is never me. It's always somebody else that uses the last bit of toothpaste. I only want a little bit. But here's a question. What is toothpaste? Hmm? It's to keep your teeth clean. Acid that cleans off grass. Cream to brush your teeth. Ah, toothpaste is like um, a chemical for you to clean your teeth. It helps to make your teeth white and shiny. Some very good thoughts there. But what if we just read the back of the tube? Then we'll know exactly what toothpaste is. Silly me. Okay, the ingredients in toothpaste are dicalcium phosphate dihydrate, of course, water, sorbitol, and glycerin, naturally, and sodium monofluorophosphate. Well, there we have it. We have our answer. Now, just excuse me while I go and have a cup of tea and a sticky bun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. You don't know what these things are? Yeah, me neither. Mind you, I suppose we could look at it from another angle. We know what toothpaste is for, right? Right, it's for cleaning your teeth. But what exactly needs to be cleaned off them? Hmm? For years, scientists wondered what strange and sinister force made teeth fall out. But now scientists, dentists, orthodontists, and many other tists know that our teeth are covered in an invisible layer called plaque. And when the bacteria in plaque gets together with the food we eat, the result is a nasty acid. That's right, nasty acid that can slowly eat away our teeth. Yes, that's what I said, eat away our teeth. Mm, nasty. let lots of plaque build up on my teeth, see? Oh, 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 sorry about the whiffy breath, yeah. Kind of comes with plaque. But can you see all the plaque everywhere? No? Hmm, or maybe that's why they call it invisible. Luckily, I have one of these. It's a plaque revealer, because it reveals plaque, basically. Now, what I need to do is put it in my mouth and give it a jolly good chew. Okay, are you ready to see that plaque? Here goes. Are you all right? It can't be that bad, surely. Ah, ooh, ooh, look at all the plaque. Ooh, get it off. Ooh. Have you seen those new car washes that don't have brushes? They just have high-speed jets of water that blast the dirt off cars? Well, I figure that if jets of water will get the dirt off a whole car, then surely they'll get a little bit of plaque off a few little teeth. What do you reckon? Should we give it a go? Okay, let's try it. Um, maybe not. Tell somebody. Thank you. <coughs> hey, what about one of these? The old window wipers window wiper. Mm, the only thing is, this is probably a little bit too big. Whoa, well that's more like it. Now, if I only open wide and say, ah. Well, you know, I like to get my teeth into the job, but this is ridiculous. Okay, hold still. This isn't your normal everyday dirt and grime. Stuff just doesn't want to come off. <laughs> Pardon. Oh, I see you've noticed the cleaning mixtures. Well, there are all kinds of cleaning products that you can use to clean around the house. But I tell you what, I'm not putting any of them near my mouth. They could cause all kinds of damage. But what does toothpaste have in it that can clean away plaque? That plaque seems to be stuck on pretty hard. G'day. What is the name? Working with wood is my game. Now, have a gander at this, would you? 
beautiful piece of wood underneath this paint. Yep, pure pineus. But as I say, it's painted. Some character's gone and painted it, and it's a bit of a worry. Let's get rid of it. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take to it with some sandpaper. Now, it's called sandpaper because, well, it's sand stuck on paper. You keeping up with me? On ya. Right. Now, watch closely as I give the herbs to the old uh, paint here with the old uh, sandpaper. See what's happening here? Well, those tough little bits of sand stuck to the sandpaper are knocking off the paint bit by bit as they're rubbed up against it. You know, something that does that is called an abrasive. And it turns out that ages ago, when people first started to clean their teeth, they figured out that an abrasive was just what they needed. And they used all sorts of things. They used crushed eggshells and pumice. That's a kind of rock. Mmm, tasty. Well, sometimes they added in other things, like the burnt crushed hooves of animals. Ugh. And what's worse, this was before the toothbrush was invented. Before that, people just used a wooden stick. Oh, and before that, people just used their fingers. Take old Queen Elizabeth I of England. She loved the taste of sugar, but wasn't too good at keeping her teeth clean. And it showed. Well, you know, old Lizzie should have taken better care of her teeth, but let's face it, who would want to do their teeth? with dry, gritty, dusty old stuff like this. Ugh. Luckily, a big step forward was taken when somebody decided to add a paste to it. Something smooth and squishy. Something much nicer to brush your teeth with. It held all that abrasive, of gritty stuff together. The only trouble is you can't really take a bowl of toothpaste away with you in your overnight bag. Well, you can, but... What was needed was a nifty little container. Something a bit like a tube. Hmm. Luckily, they fill it for you in the factory before you buy it. So if you have a look at all the long names on the back of your toothpaste, you'll find one that basically means the abrasive gritty stuff that people have been using to clean their teeth with for ages. Well, here it is here. Dicalcium phosphate dihydrate. And that's the stuff that sort of grinds away at the plaque and knocks it off your teeth. And in your toothpaste, it makes up about this much, about one fifth. Now the other main part of the toothpaste is the paste, the smooth, squishy stuff that makes it easier to brush with. And it makes up about this much. It's most of the toothpaste. Now, the last little bit, and I know it's in here somewhere, is made up of other stuff, like fluoride for making your teeth strong, and foam that helps spread the toothpaste around your mouth and your teeth, and something that makes it taste better. Not good enough to swallow, but so it tastes a bit better than burnt animal hooves and crushed eggshells. If you'd like information about this program, or if you have questions you'd like answered, you can write to us at Susie's World, PO Box 34307, Birkenhead, Auckland, or head to the website, www.susie.co.nz. And remember to brush your teeth twice a day. I would except I've squeezed all the toothpaste out of my tube again. I'm back to no toothpaste. Hey, anyone got any crushed eggshells and burnt animal hooves? Just kidding. See you next time. Ka kite. G'day. What are you here? Would you like to do that again? Yeah, I would too. <laughs> I'm inhaling fluff. Just a little bit. Look, you can hide. No, you can't. Stop. This program was brought to you by New Zealand On Air.